What's going on, baseball fans? How you doing? So are the Yankees on the verge of an epic collapse? Let's go talk about it. Before I get started, if you are new to the channel, think about subscribing down below. Hit the like button, hit the bell button, hit the share button, hit all the buttons. And sponsoring today's video, we have SeatGeek. Use my code HIDE and you'll get 20 bucks off your first purchase. And also don't forget, we are partners with Prize Picks. Use my code GINGER and you'll get a 100% deposit match. If you deposit 20 bucks, they'll give you 20 bucks. Okay, here we go. Let's take a look at the American League East standings. The Yankees, 79 and 50. 53, but look at the Rays, 73 and 57. They are five games back. They've been red hot lately, eight and two in their last 10. They've won four straight games. You got to remember here, the Yankees, they had a 15 and a half game lead in this division back on July 8th. That's a massive lead in the division. Now it's only five. What the heck is going on with the Yankees? Well, Fangraphs, they are still optimistic about the Yankees here. Still have them at a 100% chance to make the playoffs. I think we can all agree on that. But now, the division, uh, winning the division, the percent chance, this was actually like in the high 90s at one point. Now it's down to 87.4. They actually give a better percent chance to the Blue Jays as of right now. I don't know how they're coming up with that. The Blue Jays are two games behind the Rays in the division. So uh, the Rays right now, they are looking really good. The Yankees, they still give the Yankees a very good chance of winning this division. Uh, but man, I mean, we got, what, another month to go? Anything can happen. It's a uh, could be a crazy September. I know all about... Horrible Septembers. Go back to 2011 with my Red Sox. I cried myself to sleep pretty much every single night that month. So let's dive into everything. I'm going to go over, you know, what's been going on with the Yankees here. Let's take a look at them offensively. We'll look at the starting pitching. We'll look at the bullpen. And I'll give you my thoughts on if I think they're on the verge of a collapse. Let's start off with the offense. Let's go take a look at the numbers from the first half. This offense was absolutely insane in the first half of the season. They were number one in WRC Plus with a 122. They were number one in Fangraph offense as well. I mean, take a look. I mean, we all know how good Aaron Judge has been. But, I mean, that first half he had was absolutely just out of this world. But you had other guys also contributing. You had Matt Carpenter, who was just just came out of nowhere the Yankees picked him up and this guy was just on fire uh Anthony Rizzo he was really solid in the first half DJ LeMay who was hitting and getting on base in the first half uh Giancarlo Stan he was providing power he was uh, he was driving in runs as well Glaber Torres was having a bounce back season in the first half he was hitting very well had a slugging just under 500 Aaron Hicks he was getting on base at a three six with a six, 361 on base percentage um you know you had Jose Trevino coming through in clutch situations as well but Taking a look here at the second half, my goodness, the Yankees offense has just completely fallen off. They are 19th in WRC plus in the second half. And take a look at some of these numbers. Yes, Judge has been amazing. Um, Rizzo has still been pretty solid for the most part. But after that, I mean, even with Andrew Benintendi in the fold, he hasn't done too much. He's had a, a couple of clutch moments, but... Matt Carpenter, he's out with the foot injury. Who knows if he'll come back this year. Uh, Trevino has been hitting a little bit as well. But other than that, I mean, not a whole lot going on. Gian Giancarlo Stan, he was out for a little while there. Aaron Hicks, he's not getting on base like he used to. Glaber Torres has just completely fallen off after the bounce back uh, first month. Donaldson is kind of around the same. He's not doing as effective in the second half. But DJ LeMayhew... He's not hitting as well. He's got a few homers in the second half, but his slugging is down from the first half of the season. They're just not getting that length in the lineup. Judge is doing his thing. Rizzo, he's been a pretty decent contributor in the second half. Other than that, they're just not getting the same effectiveness. They're not getting the same quality at-bats like they were getting in the first half. And let's take a look at the at-bats you know what are they doing within these at-bats well if you take a look here the Yankees against fastballs they were the third best team against fastballs uh in the first half of the season but if you take a look at the second half they have just completely forgotten how to hit a fastball negative 7.9 value compared to the 38.7 so they're not hitting fastballs very effectively take a look at how they were doing against sliders in the first half they were the best team against sliders in the first half of the season with a 26.1 value and if you take a look at how they've been doing in the second half my goodness they've just completely forgotten how to hit sliders as well a negative 10.9 now i'm not going to say it's completely all on the yankee hitters i'm going to give credit here to the opposing teams i think teams 
have really switched up their game plan against the Yankees. I think they're pitching them a lot differently. And I just don't think the Yankees have made the necessary adjustments when it comes to just having good quality at bats, hitting fastballs, hitting sliders. So I, I will, you know, definitely give some blame to the Yankees there, but I I'm also going to give credit to these other teams' pitching staffs as well. Uh, but speaking of the pitching, let's go take a look at the starting pitching. In the first half of the season, the Yankees ranked eighth in Fangraph War. The starting rotation, they had a 3.20 ERA, a 3.67 FIP, nine strikeouts per nine, two walks per nine, a little above a home run per nine. Really solid numbers from the rotation. I mean, take a look at what some of these guys were doing. Garrett Cole was being Bar uh, Garrett Cole. Nestor Cortez, this guy was just having an amazing first half, made the all-star game. Jamison Tyone, he was really solid. I mean, look at these numbers he was having. 10 and 2, a 3.86 ERA, 3.78 FIP. Way better than he was doing last year. Uh, Jordan Montgomery no longer with the team. Now, I did like that trade. I did like them picking up Harrison Bader because I do feel like they needed some better defense in center field. But this has not really worked out uh, so far, at least. Who knows? Maybe Harrison Bader can come back later on and really uh, provide a bit of a spark for the Yankees, especially defensively. But Jordan Montgomery, he is uh, he is missed at the moment, I would say, because he is doing very well for the Cardinals. Uh, Luis Severino, he was really good in the first half, but he's been out with an injury. Um you know, there's, there was no complaints with the starting rotation in the first half of the season. But the Yankees now, uh, they have dropped to 17th overall in the second half of the season. Not bad numbers necessarily. And I will also blame the offense a little bit. Not a lot of run support, so as you can see here, 7 and 15. But if you take a look at the numbers, a 4.24 ERA, that's about a full run higher than it was in the first half of the season. The FIP is still looking pretty good at 3.91. The strikeouts are down a little bit. The walks and the home runs, they're pretty much, for the most part, the same. But uh, you can definitely see a difference in the strikeouts, not getting as many strikeouts. So the starting pitching, I don't really have a lot of complaints about. Uh, you also have Frankie Montaz that you added. But to me, it, it, he was not the guy the Yankees needed. They needed to go get Luis Castillo. Um, that was the guy and they, they could not capitalize on it. I felt like they were in the driver's seat for him and they couldn't get a, a deal done. Frankie Montaz was basically the backup plan and uh, he's had a couple of good starts, but man, he's gotten rocked in a few as well. Uh, Jamison Tyone, he has not been as effective as he was in the first half. Garrett Cole, he's been fine for the most part. Uh, I think he's not getting a lot of run support. He's one in five overall. The ERA is a bit higher than it was in the first half of the season. Uh, Nestor Cortez, he was recently placed on the IL, uh, but really good numbers in the second half. Domingo Herman has actually been a pretty nice surprise here. He's had nine starts in the second half, a 3.12 ERA. However, the FIP does suggest that he's more of an ER, a four ERA kind of a guy. Uh, <clears throat> but other than that, you know, it, it's not bad starting pitching. It, it's just not as effective as it was in the first half of the season. So uh, let's go talk about the bullpen. The Yankees' bullpen was extremely good in the first half of the season, only behind the Atlanta Braves in Fangraph War, and that Braves' bullpen is really good. Take a look at the numbers here. A 2.89 ERA, a 3.06 FIP, right around 9.5 strikeouts per nine, uh, 3.5 walks per nine, a half a home run per nine. Very solid numbers from the Yankees' bullpen. And taking a look at some of these guys, Michael King, Clay Holmes, they were the stars of the show. Extremely solid numbers. Clay Holmes having a great season out of the closer role. Uh, Michael King, this guy was just insane in the first half of the year. He was absolutely out of his mind. Uh, MVP, in my opinion, out of that bullpen. Huge piece. Now, Michael King is out for the year, and that's been a big blow. We'll talk about that in a second. Um, Lucas Lickey was having a really solid first half. Peralta was really good. Chad Green was doing decent as well. But really good numbers out of this bullpen overall. Now, if you take a look at the second half of the season, again, kind of like the starting pitching, not bad numbers, but not as effective as they were in the first half of the season. So a 3.54 ERA, a 4.05 FIP, those numbers have gone up from the first half. Now, the strikeouts, they have gone down. The walks have gone up a little bit, and the home runs. So it's they're not bad numbers, but they're not as effective as they were in the first half of the season. So Licky is leading the way when it comes to innings pitched, but if you take a look at Fangraph War, uh, Lewiska has actually been uh, their best pitcher in the second half out of the bullpen. They got F. Ross. He's been really good for them. Uh, but if you take a look here, again, Michael King got hurt. 
Clay Holmes, he was put on the IL recently. He has not been as effective as he was in the first half of the season. His numbers have just completely jumped up. ERA in the mid sixes, ER, uh, FIP in the mid fives. So, you know, Chapman's come back. He's been okay for the most part. The numbers aren't too great. The FIP is okay at a 3.64. Uh, Licky, he's been getting it done just like he was in the first half. I don't like that FIP though at a 4.46. Um, so they're, it's not a bad bullpen by any means. They also added Lou Trevino. He's been pretty solid for them as well. ERA under one. The FIP is higher, about almost three runs higher than the ERA. So look out for that. But the bullpen, I'm not really too worried about the bullpen. Sure, they've digressed slightly in the second half compared to the first half. But uh, bullpen, starting pitching, not really too worried about those. The offense is where I'm very concerned about this Yankee team. So let's go take a look at a few more offensive numbers. So to answer the question, are the Yankees on the verge of an epic collapse? Well, let's take a look at a few offensive numbers here. That's where I'm concerned the most with the Yankees. The pitching, I think they have enough to get it done on the pitching side. The offense, it's been really bad. Taking a look over the last two weeks, the Yankees are 24th in WRC plus with an 83. Over the last two weeks, they're only hitting 222, a 299 on base, a 338 slugging. you got to start hitting the ball. I mean, taking a look at some individual guys here, Judge over the last couple of weeks. He's Aaron Judge. He's been doing great. Uh, Andrew Benintendi has been hitting a bit better over the last couple of weeks. Uh, but a lot of these other guys, they are just not hitting. Rizzo is he's doing okay actually i'll take that back he's been doing pretty well but donaldson needs to pick up the pace here kiner falef i know to me he's always been more of a defensive guy but it'd be nice if he could add a little bit glaber torres let's get the ball rolling here mr glaber torres are you kidding john carlos stan um he's been back recently but he's not really doing all that much over the last seven games uh dj lemay he's been really bad i mean they got a lot of these guys here that are struggling you got a few guys that are doing well but these other guys are really not picking up the slack. Again, I mentioned this earlier. They are just, they don't have the length in that lineup like they did in the first half. So I'm looking at a few advanced numbers here. The Yankees over the last couple of weeks here, their barrel percentage is really low, a 4.6%. That ranks 28th in the major leagues over the last two weeks. But one thing, there's a, a little bit of hope here. They are 11th in hard hit percentage. So they're hitting the ball hard. They're just not quite getting the barrels there. So maybe this means they're on the right track. Because once you start getting the barrel on the ball, man, oh, man, you're going to get some balls just flying all over the place. So taking a look here, the Yankees, you know, also one more thing with the, with the Yankees offense. You got the BABIP which is a 267, that's 24th over the last couple of weeks. That's really low. You know, could that be unlucky? Sure. I mean, it's not extremely extremely low to suggest that it's unlucky, but, you know, could maybe that start to come up a little bit? If you start getting some more barrels on the ball, that BABIP should come up a little bit, batting average on balls in play. So I think for the Yankees, this hard hit percentage I like that number. It's a 40.1%. That's pretty solid for the most part. They're just not quite getting the barrel on the ball. If they can get the barrel on the ball, man, oh man, that offense, you got, these guys are talented. They're very talented. They have the track records. I think the Yankees with the pitching, they're doing fine in the starting rotation. The bullpen has been fine. Sure. There's some injuries, but I feel like the Yankees have enough there. They just have to start hitting. I, will they have an epic collapse? I feel like they're going to be able to hang on to this division. You got a full month here. I would like to think they're going to hang on to this division. I mean, I've seen crazy things in my time as a baseball fan, but could we see a 15 and a half game lead just completely disappear? The Rays are playing great baseball. It's a very well run organization, eight and two in their last 10. They're playing great. For the Yankees, I feel like they are going to be able to hang on this to this division. I feel like the offense. They will get themselves back on track. If this hard hit percentage was really low, like down here, I'd have a lot more concerns right now. But I still think they're they're at least hitting the ball pretty hard. They just have to get more barrels on the ball. I think they're going to be able to hang on to this division. I think the pitching, they're going to be able to do enough in the starting rotation and in the bullpen. I think the offense, they sh should be able to get themselves right to the point where they should be able to contribute a little bit more but those are just 
my thoughts. Tell me what you think down below. Do you think the Yankees are going to collapse and completely blow this division? Do you think they'll be able to hang on? Let me know what you think down below in the comments. But that's all I have for right now. Thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you next time.